Argentina, the land that gifted the world some of the greatest football maestros, has a story that dates back to the late 19th century. This South American nation, renowned for its passion for football, saw the birth of the sport amidst its cobblestone streets and sprawling parks. The game took root in the 1860s, brought by British immigrants who introduced this captivating sport to the locals. It didn't take long for football to capture the hearts of the Argentine people. The first unofficial match was played in 1867, followed by the formation of the first football teams, such as Club Atletico Rosario and Buenos Aires Football Club. In 1893, a significant chapter in Argentina's football history was written with the establishment of the Argentine Football Association, the oldest national football association in South America. This marked the official birth of football in Argentina. As the game began to flourish, Argentina started shaping its unique football identity. The 1920s and 1930s marked the golden era of Argentine football. This period saw Argentina emerge as one of the most formidable football powerhouses in South America and indeed, the world. It was a time when the beautiful game was in its purest form, a spectacle of skill and passion, a dance on the grass that captivated millions. In these two remarkable decades, Argentina clinched the South American Championship, now known as the Copa America, an impressive six times. The national team, with its sky-blue stripes, became a symbol of hope and pride a beacon of unity in a nation divided by political and economic turmoil. One cannot talk about this golden era without mentioning the outstanding players who etched their names into the annals of football history. Among them was Guillermo Stabile, a name that, while perhaps not as globally renowned as Maradona or Messi, holds a special place in the hearts of Argentine football fans. Stabile was a striker of remarkable ability, a true poacher in the box scoring goals with an ease and flair that left spectators and opponents alike in awe. His crowning moment came in the 1930 World Cup where he finished as the tournament's top scorer. Despite this, his career was largely overshadowed by the looming conflict of the Second World War. Yet, his contribution to Argentine football remains immense, laying the groundwork for the generations of Argentine strikers that would follow. The golden era was more than just a time of success on the pitch. It was a period that shaped the nation's identity. Football became more than just a game. It was a language everyone spoke, a unifying force that brought people together, regardless of their social or economic background. The successes of the 1920s and 1930s were not just victories for Argentine football. They were victories for Argentina as a nation. They showcased the country's talent, determination and spirit on the world stage. They instilled a sense of national pride and unity that has endured to this day. The golden era set the precedent for Argentina's football dominance. It was a time when Argentina truly came alive through the beautiful game, and its legacy continues to inspire and ignite the passion of future generations. 1978 brought home the glory that Argentina had been chasing for decades. This was the year when the football world witnessed the prowess of the Argentine squad. A year that was etched into the annals of football history with Argentina claiming their much-deserved first World Cup title. The tournament was a spectacle of skill and passion, with one name rising above all, Mario Kempes. Kempes, the goal-scoring machine, was the heart and soul of the Argentine squad. He led his team like a maestro, orchestrating each play, each move, with precision and flair. His six goals across the tournament not only earned him the golden boot, but also cemented his place amongst the pantheon of football greats. This victory was more than just a trophy. It was a symbol of national pride, a beacon of hope in troubled times. It was a testament to Argentina's football prowess, proof that they could compete with the best and come out on top. The 1978 World Cup victory was a testament to Argentina's football prowess. Beyond the legendary Maradona, Argentina has been home to numerous football geniuses. Let's delve into the rich tapestry of tales that often go unheard yet are an integral part of Argentina's illustrious football heritage. Consider the maestro Juan Román Riquelm. His name may not be as globally recognized, but his prowess on the field was nothing short of magical. With his impeccable vision and precision passing, Riquelm painted a masterpiece every time he stepped onto the pitch. His unrivaled control of the ball, coupled with his astute understanding of the game, made him an indispensable asset to any team he played for. And then, there's the tale of Gabriel Batistuta, affectionately known as Batigol. A goal-scoring machine, Batistuta was the embodiment of raw power and precision. His thunderous strikes were a sight to behold, 
and his predatory instincts in front of the goal made him a nightmare for defenders. Batistuta's passion and dedication to the sport saw him become the all-time top scorer for Argentina, a record he held until the rise of a certain Lionel Messi. These names are just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless other Argentine players like Fernando Redondo who, with his silky skills and elegant play, added a touch of class to the midfield. Or Roberto Ayala, a stalwart defender who embodied resilience and tenacity, making him one of the best centre-backs of his generation. These players may not have graced as many headlines or adorned as many posters as Maradona, but they each brought something unique to the pitch. Their contributions to the sport, both at a domestic and international level, have helped shape Argentine football into the powerhouse it is today. Their stories, their struggles, their victories, and their love for the game are woven into the fabric of Argentine football. These players may not have the global recognition of Maradona, but their impact on Argentine football is undeniable. In the 21st century, a new star emerged on the Argentine football horizon, Lionel Messi, the boy from Rosario who would go on to redefine the very essence of football and become a living legend. The young Messi began his journey at Newell's Old Boys, showing an innate talent for the sport. But it was at Barcelona, where he moved at the tender age of 13, that he truly began to shine. Messi's impact on football has been nothing short of revolutionary. He's not just a scorer of spectacular goals, but a creator, a strategist, and a leader on and off the pitch. He's broken records, won countless awards, and consistently demonstrated an unparalleled level of skill and creativity. But perhaps most importantly, he's inspired millions around the world with his humility, sportsmanship, and unyielding dedication to the game. In the Messi era, Argentina has seen some of its greatest triumphs, one of the most significant being the 2021 Copa America win a tournament that had eluded Messi and his country for 28 long years. This victory was more than just a trophy. It was a testament to Messi's indomitable spirit, his unwavering belief in his team, and his relentless pursuit of glory for his country. Messi's influence extends far beyond his on-field exploits. His commitment to the development of youth football in Argentina, his charitable work through the Leo Messi Foundation, and his role as a global ambassador for the sport are all testament to his profound impact on Argentine football and beyond. The Messi era is more than just a chapter in the history of Argentine football. It's a story of passion, perseverance, and unparalleled excellence. A story that has not only shaped the trajectory of Argentine football, but also redefined the very notion of what is possible in the beautiful game. Messi continues Maradona's legacy, carrying forward Argentina's rich football tradition. His tale is one that will be told and retold, inspiring generations of footballers and fans alike. The Messi era, truly a golden age in the annals of Argentine football. The tale of Argentine football is a rich tapestry woven with unforgettable moments and legendary figures. This journey began with the birth of football in Argentina, where the love for the game sprouted from the grassy fields and made its way into the hearts of the Argentine people. This was the seed that would grow into the tree of football greatness that Argentina is known for today. The golden era of Argentine football was a time when the country stamped its authority on the global stage. It was an era marked by dazzling displays of skill, passion, and teamwork that set the standard for future generations. The world watched in awe as Argentina showcased the power and beauty of the beautiful game. One of the shining moments in Argentina's football history is undoubtedly the World Cup triumph in 1978. This was the moment when Argentina showed the world that they were not just contenders, but champions. The victory was a testament to the talent, dedication, and spirit of the Argentine team. But beyond the well-known stories, there are countless unheard tales that add depth and color to the narrative of Argentine football. These stories remind us that every victory, every goal, every moment on the pitch is a result of the hard work, sacrifice, and love for the game that is deeply ingrained in the Argentine culture. In the Messi era, we've seen the rise of a player who has not only redefined the game but has also carried the legacy of Argentine football on his shoulders. Lionel Messi, with his extraordinary talent and unwavering dedication, has become a symbol of the ever-evolving story of Argentine football. From the grassy fields of Buenos Aires to the grand stadiums of Europe, Argentina's football story continues to inspire and captivate the world. Each chapter, each tale, each player contributes to the rich and vibrant tapestry that is Argentine football. 
And as we look forward to the future, we can't help but wonder what exciting tales are yet to be written in this incredible journey. From the grassy fields of Buenos Aires to the grand stadiums of Europe, Argentina's football story continues to inspire and captivate the world.